If you never tried quail meat before, in this video I'm gonna make it very easy for you to get into it. I'll be smoking them first and then cook them in three different ways for added variety. Diversity is everything, for our diet, for nature and also for our palate. So with that in mind, I came up with three recipes of preparing these quails to give us that special appeal, um, especially for somebody who hasn't had quails before ever. So this may cater to a wide array of tastes. You try whichever one you want, all three, if that's <laughs> what you want to go with, but give it a chance, because I think quail meat is something that not enough people get the chance to enjoy and appreciate. I call this recipe quail dinner, because it's homey, it's delicious, it's easy to make, and also it's wrapped in bacon, so what more do you want from a good dinner? In the description you'll find the PDF with the ingredients and their quantities. To a container add 1 teaspoon of smoked paprika, 1 teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper and 1 teaspoon of rock salt. Put the quails in a container and start rubbing the mixture all over them. Rub it really well, massage it very well, trying to make sure that most of the mix is going to incorporate and cover the quails properly. Add them into a Ziploc bag or a smaller container and refrigerate them for 12 hours. This is going to allow them enough time to marinate and absorb all of these ingredients to add the flavors that we want. If you thought that quail meat is fancy, how about black tea marinated quail? I'll leave in the description the website that gave me the inspiration for this recipe. But speaking about variety in our diet, this is something that you don't find often even in high-end restaurants. Take a screenshot now of the ingredients and let's get to work. We'll start by boiling 500 milliliters of water and together with the two tea bags, we'll make a tea. Once that's done, we'll leave the tea on the side to cool down properly. In a container, add the tea, two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil, two tablespoons of dark soy sauce, one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, one tablespoon of orange zest, half a cup of brown sugar, and one medium cinnamon stick. Once all of that is in, take a whisk and mix everything together very well until all the sugar is melted and all the ingredients are fully incorporated. Before we start the marinating process, let's bedazzle the quails with a couple of strips of orange zest which we're gonna put inside of them to give it a very special aroma. Then take the quails and put them inside of the marinade, clean film the bowl or container and refrigerate for 12 hours. The third recipe of preparing the quails starts quite easy and I would say even say boring with just a basic salt brine but finishes with a, with a surprise that's gonna delect your palate, I think. Stick with me. The ingredients for the brine can be found in the description of this video. To a container, add one liter of water, two tablespoons of rock salt, one teaspoon of hot chili flakes, four dry bay leaves, or two fresh ones, and also, no matter what you use, make sure that you bruise them and break them apart while you put them in the brine to release all those aromas and flavors. One teaspoon of whole black pepper corn, one teaspoon of ground coriander seeds, and one teaspoon of allspice. Whisk all your ingredients together until the salt is fully dissolved. Put your quails in, cover the container with clean film and refrigerate it for 12 hours. Before we can start smoking them, take the quails out of the marinade and dry them up properly by using paper towels and tapping them as much as possible. Try to go underneath the wings and between the legs as well. We want to dry them up as much as possible so the smoke sticks.
I've used apple wood and cherry wood to smoke the quails and this is a good choice for any type of poultry or, or fish but now that the quails are smoked let's finish them We're gonna start by finishing the bacon wrapped quail recipe. So for that, we'll need to preheat our oven at 200 Celsius or 392 Fahrenheit. And while the oven is preheating, we'll take five rashes of bacon per quail and wrap it as much as possible. We want to leave as little quail meat exposed as possible. That's gonna keep it juicy, that's gonna keep it moist, and also not dry up. Then take an oven tray and an oven rack and put your bacon wrapped quails on top of it. We want to detach them from the tray itself because the fat is gonna accumulate on the bottom and that's gonna overcook that side of the quails. We don't want that. Again, we want to keep them as juicy and moist as possible. Let's get back to our fancy black tea marinated quails. To get them ready, we'll have to bake them in the oven. With that in mind, we need to preheat our oven at 200 Celsius or 392 Fahrenheit and we'll need a baking tray with an oven rack on top of it that's lightly oiled. We need the rack to be oiled so that the quails don't stick on it. The previous recipe that had the bacon had the benefit of all of that fat from the bacon. This doesn't, so that's why we're oiling it. Then put the quails in the preheated oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Take a thermal pan or a, a kitchen probe and after 15 minutes probe as deep as possible in the chest area which is the most meat on the quail. If you reach 75 Celsius, then your quails are done. There's no point to cook them beyond that because they're only gonna dehydrate and you know, dry up more. To finish the third recipe, we'll have to steam them. And this time we're gonna use a bamboo steamer to get the job done. If you don't have a bamboo steamer, you can use a pot and some aluminum foil to create a DIY steamer. Check this video to see how we've done it in the past or you can just use a normal home kitchen steamer and that's gonna, that's gonna be good as well. But if you're following our method, then take a saucepan, fill it five centimeter or two inches with water and put your quails in the bamboo steamers. Then they put the bamboo steamer on top of the pot and let it steam for 15 to 20 minutes. Old school method or trick on how to steam meat is 15 minutes per one centimeter of meat. So check the thickness of the quail meat before you start and use this method if you don't have a thermal probe. But if you have a kitchen probe, the best way and the safest way to make sure that your meat is safe, after 15 minutes, probe the thickest part of the breast. And if the temperature reaches 75 Celsius or 167 Fahrenheit, then the quail is safe and ready to be enjoyed. Now, if you're really, really hungry, you can eat them now when they're done steaming. But, as I said, if you want to make this into something that's really gonna delect your palate, then you need to be patient because we have one more step in preparing them to give you that amazing quail recipe that you wished for. <laughs> so take a screenshot of the ingredient list or check it in the description below. And let's start. In a container, add two tablespoons of smoked paprika, five cloves of garlic minced, one sprig of fresh thyme or one teaspoon of dry thyme, half a teaspoon of ground allspice, one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, one teaspoon of hot cayenne powder, and 100 milliliters of water. Then mix all these ingredients together until you get a homogenized paste and straight from the steamer, still hot, 75 Celsius, we'll take our quills and drop them straight away into this finishing rub. Now you don't need to rush through this step because your meat is cooked it's safe it can stay for five to ten minutes in this rub to absorb as much as possible uh, coming from the steamer the meat is susceptible now to drink as much of this finishing rub as possible so don't be afraid of leaving it for up to 10 minutes while you still move it constantly to make sure that every nook and cranny gets covered with this rub once you're satisfied with the coverage of the quails then we're gonna use that so handy and so useful <laughs> oven rack that we've used in the other videos, but this time to dry them up because now we need to dry them up or hang them in a cold place, in a cold room for 24 hours. But as most people don't have a cellar or a cold room, we can use an oven rack in the fridge to dry them for 24 hours. 
If you decide to make a larger batch, then it's a good idea to vacuum seal them. This is gonna keep very well in the freezer for up to six months and it's an easy way to just come home, defrost it and have a quick dinner with some potatoes or some rice or whatever you prefer as a side. You're not just gonna have a dinner, you're gonna have something really delicious. Wow, this is so good. The meat is, in my opinion, a combination between turkey and chicken, only with the added sweetness. But when you smoke it and you wrap it in bacon, it stays moist and just the flavors are amazing. Definitely you should try this one. I mean, everything wrapped in bacon is delicious, but this is a whole new level of deliciousness. I hope you like this video and you're gonna give quail meat a chance. Everybody's eating chicken all the time, sometimes duck, sometimes turkey, but I think quail meat can offer you that new flavor, that new thing that you were looking for. And just, just try new things because that's the whole point. They're available out there, just look enough. You'll find them usually in Asian markets. You can also buy them from many supermarkets or if you want to have the highest quality level of quail meat, you can grow your own. So if this video added some value to your life, please like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode. But I think this is going to be something that's really going to touch that special spot. No, never again say that's special. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't know what special spot. Black tea marinated quill. I mean, that, that should hit all the cylinders. <laughs> I don't know where this is coming from. <laughs> I don't fucking know either. Must be some kind of like... What does it mean? <laughs> what is that?